good morning everyone i do hope you had a wonderful night rest and um, i'm here this morning once again to share what i'm thinking is going to happen on the gpp usd well on the gpp usd we have been bearish for quite a while and price action has been trying to do some reversal structure as we can see here on the four hours time frame well, the first thing I want to let us notice and be clear is this. We are very bearish and we can see that we have a bearish trend line very, very evident as we continue to see lower highs since the beginning of March this year. And if I bring out my line chart and try to express this visual representation of a trend line, we are going to have something like this. So I want to give this a bold line. Sorry, um, I want to give, I want to make this bold. Um, to emphasize um, the strength of the sellers in the market right now. So with this, with this one clearly stated out, we might be looking for, uh, you can see we had this, um, this, impulse leg very strong which started sometime around april middle of april we saw that um, strong bearish momentum to the downside after which we saw after which we saw um from two one point two four we've started seeing um something that looks like a higher low and at the same time looks more of a reversal pattern until during the course of yesterday's trading session, we saw this bullish engulfing candle strike through a neckline, a breakout of structure at that point. Now, um, if we want to look at what is happening, considering the long-term bearish momentum on this on this pair, we might be looking for forward to a after this bearish impulse leg, we might be looking forward to the incitation of a retracement wave where price might actually retrace into this trend line or retrace into um, our golden zone, which is always the 50 to 78.6% retracement of the impulse leg, after which we might see um, a, a consolidation phase that's why it might incite a trend continuation to the downside or probably a trend continuation a trend breakout to the upside so if we want to look at this clearly what bring out our fibonacci retracement tool to see where our golden zone will fall hard we'll have something like this and we have um a structure a tp potential tp target around here after which we might be looking for reversal setup to go to the downside allow me to label this we'll label this our profit target zone Sorry. and give that a green and then we have it in the middle yes good are we going to bold it let's bold it a little bit and we have something like this so we might be looking for price to come into this to this zone and before we do that what is going to be our guide going into the new day well we will really need to have a key level and where would our key level be if we pull out our line chart we have a key level right at 1.25600 thereabout, I think. 1.25, yes, 1.25600. So we have a key level right at 1.25600. Our key level is golden. Let me give it a gold color. Um, is this thick enough? I think we have we should have something like this. And then we have two point one point two five six, right? Key level at one point two five six. We'll label it right there at the top. 
button this I think let's put it on the far left or far right I guess so we have something like this so with this key level identified here we might be having this as our guide going into the new trading day so we'll be looking for structures above this key level where we can be entering a trade and going to the upside so now that we have a clue into what's happening we already have we we had a, we have a necklace 1.256 we had a minimal breakout here on the 2nd of may not until yesterday we had a significant breakout and if we scroll scroll down to the one hour time frame what do we have here on the one hour time frame if we zoom in closely we we can see that we have identified a bullish trend line which we can see which is represented on the chart with our green tick green line so we have a bullish trend line already evolving at the moment and not until um yesterday during the um us release we had this bullish engulfing candle which actually give us a signal that participants in this market are, are having gaining confidence in the pound at least for the meantime against the us dollar so what we saw here was an impulse leg yesterday and we saw price doing a retracement after which we'll be looking for um, a reversal structure around this area where price which will inside price to the upside so following this impulse leg we want to identify a demand zone which will be our golden zone area so if we spool out our retracement tool and run it through the length of the of the of the impulse leg we're going to see and we we are light between 50 and 78.6 percent retracement we will see that we have a demand zone a new buy opportunity around that area which is between 1.253 and 1.2249 so if we name this place our buy opportunity zone opportunity zone buy opportunity then we put this in brackets demand zone because at this area might be our next demand zone going forward so let's place it right in the middle and the center and here we go so what we'll be looking for is we'll be looking for a reversal structure within this area we never can tell what's going to happen or we might actually see a outright breakout of structure a retest into structure a confirmation of a trend continuation to the upside so with this idea in mind what i have done at this point is i placed the pending order i placed two pending orders at um here 1.242566 and 1.25594 which is right above that neckline that we are looking forward to as we can see we saw the breakout the retest we look retest the confirmation and breakout of structure to the upside so um in this regard i have my position in the form of this um give me a moment let me spool that out okay i have my my position i think this is too thick it doesn't make us see what's happening behind the scenes yes so we have our position i have my position like this where where i'm having a take profit i get around 140 pips that's on 1.269 and why is that i actually just took the fibonacci extension of this last impulse leg and i located the 127.2 percent level where where which falls at exactly 1.269 which is also a very strong psychological level so this is what i'm going to be looking at with a stop loss of around 45 to 50 pips then that's approximately a risk reward ratio of one to three so i'm looking at this key level to guide us upward and at the same time looking at this bullish trend line that i've identified here to be our guide going into the new trading day and so we might be having a projection of something like this a projection of probably channel sort of 
in this format. So I would like to pause the video at this point and um, let's see how price action reacts going forward. And I'll definitely try as much as possible to give an update in the comment section in my trading view account. In this regard, thank you and I wish you a wonderful trading day. Goodbye.